What's up? I hope everyone's doing well. So for today's video, I wanted to start out with a little thought experiment. I want you to imagine that you're a grown man who decided to download a popular app where teenagers and young people record short videos of themselves dancing and lip syncing to music. Then imagine being on this site that's designed for young people to dance and lip sync on for fun, and you see a 19 year old girl who gets millions of views for one of her lip syncing videos on the app for lip syncing and fun silly videos. Now I want you to imagine being so fucking triggered that you leave comments telling her to go kill herself. You even make videos about her and how you would like to murder her and describe the various means in which you would do that. So people react to this being like, hey buddy, are you okay? Seems kind of like a harsh reaction. So then you get more triggered and you dig deep to find some perceived moral infraction the teenage girl has committed, which in your mind warrants the death penalty. So you say, her cutesy expressions literally promote pedophilia as if she invented being a cutesy teenager who's into like kawaii shit or whatever. If that fails, you dig deeper. Oh shit, she got a poorly thought out tattoo. Aha, pure evil. Even though she immediately apologized and said she was gonna get it covered up. It's almost as if this teenage girl got a cool looking tattoo without analyzing its potential reference to geopolitical tensions that 99.9% .9 of Americans are completely oblivious to because of our embarrassing educational system. If that fails, you say, well, here, look, she left a mean comment somewhere calling someone else talentless. Ha, the hypocrisy. Even though the image has been proven to be photoshopped, probably by you, you fucking psycho, you finally settle in on just calling her talentless. There you go, got it. Because it totally makes sense to analyze videos of teenagers lip syncing on a lip syncing app by the same metrics you would a Lars von Trier movie. Seems kind of silly, right? So unfortunately, this isn't a thought experiment. This is the actual reality of how people behave and this is just the reality that we live in, unfortunately. So Bella Porch is a 19 year old Filipino veteran who recently went viral on TikTok for her lip syncing videos that her peers enjoy watching. I downloaded TikTok a few months ago and have been enjoying it and having fun on it. But just like every other social media platform before it, there's a demographic of people who will shit on it until it inevitably becomes normal and accepted like YouTube. These people tend to view themselves as superior to pop culture and the frivolous interests of teenage girls and children, which I always found to be an odd way of seeking status. It reminds me of like when nine-year-olds like make a big deal out of hating Barney and other things that younger children are interested in. Like, dude, you're not the target demo. Like, it's like that, except it's adults doing it who should know by now that different age brackets have different interests and that's perfectly fucking normal and okay. Is Barney talentless fluff? Seems like the wrong kind of metric to analyze a show for very young children, but this is exactly what people do to teenagers on TikTok. So Bella Porch caught my interest though because of the sheer quantity of hate she's been getting for making fun silly videos. People love fun silly videos. A video of a fucking bat eating a banana will get millions of views on YouTube, and that's fine. It doesn't mark the end times, it just shows that people have a broad range of interests. Some that are important and complex and some that are light and silly. Life is a combination of both and the light silly stuff can be a refuge from life's more heavy shit. I find that during particularly low points of my life, I tend to be drawn to more frivolous and mindless entertainment. It serves an actual utility in human functioning by reducing our cortisol levels, releasing endorphins, and giving us a break from the anxiety and dread so we can recharge and eventually face a new day. Bella had one video in particular that went viral and got a lot of attention. I can only imagine what it's like to be not only a teenage girl, but also a veteran struggling with PTSD and severe social anxiety, and then be bombarded with hate simply for lip syncing in a fun, lighthearted video on a lip syncing app. I'm a grown ass woman and having only experienced the tiniest taste of online hate and harassment, and especially in the beginning, it affected me. It's human nature. Social rejection is one of the most powerful emotions a human can experience because tens of thousands of years ago, being rejected by your tribe meant death. Humans are incredibly social creatures and it's natural to be curious what your peers think of you and to be greatly affected by it. We weren't designed to cope with the internet where instead of just our tribe hating us, it's the whole fucking world. It's people who we've never met who hate us so much they leave rape and death threats. To me, this level of extreme hostility towards young people online is bizarre especially when said person doing it isn't doing anything wrong or harming anyone. It's even more peculiar when those doing the hating are completely outside the subject's peer group. 
I could be wrong, but to me it seems like fragile men who feel the need to assert their own identity and masculinity by aggressively shitting on anything perceived as feminine, frivolous, cutesy, etc. They reaffirm their own identity and group belonging by disavowing other people. When someone is unable to build self-esteem via their accomplishments, etc., they tend to try to elevate themselves by tearing others down. And rather than tear down someone of similar status, they go for easy targets like Bella Porch, a teenage girl who found success on a lip syncing app. Now, is it fair that some people work tooth and nail to scrape by and some find success with relatively minimal effort? Absolutely fucking not. But dude, blame capitalism, not an individual who happened to win the internet lottery. I like Bella Porch and I enjoy her videos. They're satisfying to watch in the same way it's satisfying to watch someone play with kinetic sand or decorate a cake. It's simple, harmless pleasure. It's not that fucking deep and people need to chill the fuck out because the secondhand embarrassment I feel for you is actually intolerable. So yeah, cut it the fuck out. Anyway, that's that was my little rant for the day. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave plenty of triggered comments for me below to boost the fucking algorithm, you fucking idiot. I love you, I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. And special thanks to my nine patrons. Thank you very much. You guys bought my groceries some every once in a while. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Hey, that's 40 bucks. Thank you.